My minor friend, why? Why do you have to leave me at this hour? Why do you have to leave me to face the harshness of Skyrim alone? My friends, welcome to the next episode of Skyrim Life as a miner. If you remember the last episode, we began our journey as a jewel crafter. We forged many gems for the master jewel crafter. We became his apprentice and uh, we worked our way up the levels. We also mined a lot of metal and did a few <laughs> iron exploits. But right at the end, after a long hard day of work, right before we were about to hit up the inn for a nice ale, a bandit raid came into town. And our minor friend sadly lost his life in the defense of Riverwood. With his hammer in hand, he beat back the bandit forces, defending the citizens. And we lost not a single citizen, thanks to us. But sadly, the payoff was my minor friend here losing his life. He was meant to be with us, my friends. He was meant to be with us throughout the whole series. Right by my side, we were his brothers. Now he is gone. Oh look, the pilgrims come into town. Perhaps you can say a few words to my friends. I think, first things first, we get our minor friend buried somewhere nice. Maybe near Embershard Mine. Let's, uh, let's see where we can take him. We'll carry his body. Lay him to rest so he may once again walk hand in hand with his ancestors. And those he cherishes. And I'll join you one day, friend. I promise. I'm thinking we bury him somewhere near Embershard, perhaps. We'll try and find a nice place. Somewhere nice and peaceful. If I have to, I don't care how far I have to carry him, I will take him somewhere where he is worthy. Or somewhere worthy of him, as I should say. This loss is, is too crushing. I, <laughs> these next few episodes, when we're going to be traveling alone, they're going to be sad, sad episodes indeed. I know I have to leave Riverwood, but I don't know where to. I'm going to head west, I think. I have not decided yet on where I'm going to go. All I know is I have to get out of this town because the memories, they're, they're too horrible. Alright, let me lay his body down here for just a second while I find somewhere peaceful for him to lay. Um, perhaps up here? I'm not sure. Somewhere overlooking, but near Embershard. Yeah, not, not too close to the road as I don't want travellers and workers walking over his grave. Maybe over here is a nice spot? Perhaps. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe here is a nice spot. It's overlooking the river. It's near Embershard Mine. There's like a nice bit of flower here. Like maybe just right here. I think we'll, I think we'll do that, actually. I think that's a good spot. It's close, but it's also away from the beaten track enough that his, his grave will not be defiled, hopefully. We'll come back when we can and kind of, you know visit his grave and and whatnot. Oh, I'm so sorry, my friend. I can't believe I still can't believe this happened. You'll be buried with your with your hammer though, as you as you wield that hammer so well, so fiercely. Right, I say we we lay him down. Yeah, let's put him down here, I think. Let's get him nice and uh, arranged here. I, I honestly I I don't know if I can ever have another companion again after this, just out of fear of losing them. My word. Yeah, this is a nice place. It's overlooking the river. Yeah, I, I think, I think this is a good place, as any. Right, I think I'm gonna leave all that stuff on you. I'm gonna give you a flower. I think. Actually, do you know what? Let's bury him with, with the rough sapphire that we dug, we dug from the earth. This we we, we dug the same earth. That will give him the jewel. Right then, let's bury our friend then, shall we? Here goes nothing. There we have it. Minor friend is buried. You are as a brother to me. We journeyed far and wide and we faced the harshest of the world together. Sadly, the world was just too harsh for a simple man such as yourself. You lived a humble life. You did your work proudly. You enjoyed an ale from time to time. A strong man indeed. My brother, may you walk with your ancestors in Southern Guard. I'm sure, sure himself will welcome you into his hall and one day I will meet you there. I think as a parting gift I will leave him a few choice items. I'm gonna give him some black briar mead. He loves drinking in the inn, celebrating a hard day's work. And I'll, uh, I'll give him some, some iron as well as he was the greatest iron miner that I'd ever seen. 
He began his life in the Ironbreaker Mines in Dawnstar, working from such a young age. He did not know me and decided to journey with me to greener pastures. Without him, I would never have been able to open Ember Shard Mine up. And yet, for all his hard work, he never got to live long enough to see the riches of Ember Shard Mine once it was reopened. Right, we'll lay it there for now. I think that's good a place as any. And I'm going to lay down a few ingots as well. Oh yeah, we'll definitely lay down some ore actually. Some raw ore. Let's lay that against your your stone there. Just like that. Very nice. I'll drop uh, a nice quick silver ingot. And of course, my friend. How could we forget your main tool? Yes. My friend. May you swing this. In Southern Guard. There we are. Look at that. Perfect. Well, I'm going to go get you some flowers, friend. I'll, before I leave Riverwood, I'll see you one last time. But uh, hopefully the road brings me back here. But uh, we've got to prepare now. Our departure of this town. Come morning, we leave and head west. So uh, let's get supplies and sell what we don't need. We're going to travel light as possible. Yeah, I think I can safely leave Ember Shard Mine to these two miners here. At least it won't be empty anymore. Sure, these two will bring much needed trade to the town and we can leave Riverwood without you know, hurting its economy at all. Uh, perhaps I'll lay down one of those dragon tongues I picked up from uh, from around here on Miner's Grave. Very nice. Right then, let's grab everything we can um, and then come morning we'll sell. Uh, we don't need firewood, we'll grab, grab all these ingots. I'll do a little bit of um, corundum mining as well, just to bring some corundum with us in case... We don't find any when we head west, although I'm sure we will. Um, other than that, I don't really need much else. I'm going to leave that hunting bow there, because I already have a huntsman bow. Firewood we can get whenever we want. I believe there's nothing else we really need. No. We didn't store much in here, apart from a bit of iron and stuff. Cool. Uh, we have still got plenty of iron ingots on us, right? We've got... Oh, sorry, sorry, iron ore. you got 102 iron ore. We don't need to mine up any more iron ore. We've got more than enough. We'll make some garnets as well before we leave. Um, actually, I'm going to... Wait, how much charcoal do I have? Oh, 18 firewood. I'll turn that into charcoal. Um, actually, maybe I should grab that other firewood in there. That's seven. And then turn that all into charcoal, just so we have enough to make garnets. <laughs> Running in and out of the hunter's cabin. Do you want, maybe I'll grab the bow as well, just to give to another companion if I ever get one. Right then, let's turn that firewood into charcoal. Make some garnets. And then sell what we can come morning, which might not be a lot, but uh, as long as we get our carry weight nice, because we're actually nearing carry weight right now. So uh, that firewood though, once we melt that down into charcoal, we should be good. I think we have more than enough firewood for one, uh, charcoal for one lifetime now, I must say. Yeah, we've got we've got loads. How much we got? You've got 83 charcoal, my word. We can make a lot of steel as well. Yeah, let's make a bunch of steel, why not? We've still got loads of iron ore, so... Right. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. My guy's getting thirsty. Right, maybe we'll uh, spend the night then. Yeah, I'm getting tired as well. Perhaps we should just actually spend the night. Actually, let's take what we can from these bandits as well, actually. <gasps> Message? What? <gasps> Will this tell us what we've been seeking? What's going on? I'll drink your blood, stupid dude. No excuse. Tomorrow you have to be here or you'll be dead with all your useless sheeps. E. Who is E? They're barely literate, whoever they are. Oh, if I ever find out who E is, they're gone. I'll tell you that. I'm guessing this guy was forced into the raiding party. Let's uh, let's take all his stuff. We will leave him no dignity. We'll cast his body in the river. Let the slaughterfish have him. What about this guy? Oh, an archer. We'll take your arrows. I'm going to take everything of you, actually. I'm going to turn it all into leather and iron. Stump, my friend. How goes it? Let's cast these bodies into, into the river. We'll let the slaughterfish dine tonight. Get out of here, scum. We'll take everything from you. There we are. As you took everything from me. What you bandit magician? What have you got? Oh, potions, her. Too bad. They couldn't save you from me. From my vengeance. I take solace in the fact that my minor friend is with his ancestors in Southern Guard, and you to the void. May Sithis be your only comfort. While my friend drinks and makes merry with warriors and legends and heroes of old. Oh, the body's actually washing up on the bank there. I'll push them out further once I finish getting all these guys' gear. 
Oh, I'm now over encumbered a bit, but that's fine. We'll melt out all their stuff. The last of the cretins cast away. There we are. Right, let's go melt down all their stuff. Oh my word, just a reminder of minor friend there. This is all that's left of him. Oh, this will take a long time to get over, my friends. This is a crushing loss for us. All right, let's break down some of these uh, bandit stuff. The hide helmet into leather strips there. Uh, Imperial light armor, hide boots. Four leather strips for hide boots, very nice. And then fur armor gives us leather. Nice, we're getting plenty of stuff here. I wonder if we can make some more pouches then. That would be very cool. A vial belt. Let's make that. 50 points. Actually, let's make the pouches first. Let's make the rest of the pouches. How many pouches have we already got? So we've got back left, back right, front left. So let's make front right. Front right gets made. And then, oh, there's side left. Side right. Boom. Let's see how much more carrot we've got now. Very nice. Let's equip these. I actually want to get that vial belt as well because that might come in handy. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Covered. Covered with pouches. Look at that. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool looking. I'm not going to lie. So much ore, so many gems can be carried. All right, we've now got 725 carry weight. My word. What else can we make? So we've got all of the leather like pouches, I think. So back left, yeah. Back right, front left, side, side. Right, very good. Now, can we make satchels as well? Will that, will that take the place of the box pouches? Let's make the vial belt. We need four leather. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. We need uh, we need two more leathers, which I think Alvo could sell us. Um, I think if I break down my Imperial armor, that only actually gives us leather strips. Yeah, Imperial light armor gives us leather strips. So we need to find some fur armor, or we just need to buy some leather from Alvo straight up, which won't be an issue, I don't think. Right, I think, though, we should definitely go to bed. Uh, let's sleep once more in the hunter's cabin, just because we are tired. Uh, we're hungry and thirsty as well. We have a long road ahead of us heading west tomorrow, so we should do that at maximum strength. And hopefully we'll have an easy sleep tonight and it won't be wrought with nightmares of the loss of our minor friend. A shame indeed, but let's uh, let's try and get some sleep. We will sleep for a humble... What time is it? Uh, oh, it's actually quite... Uh, let's not sleep for too long, then. Right, it's essentially 9 a.m., which is a bit of a later start for us, but it's it's not so, so late. Let's grab some food to eat for breakfast. We'll drink some water as well. Wow, this, I'm very hungry indeed, aren't I? Man, I'm working all day, fighting bandits, no longer thirsty. That works for me. Eat that meal, friend. Eat it. What we're looking like we are. We're still, we're still peckish, are we? My word, I like it's another apple then. <laughs> We still could have a bit more. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to be peckish. I think that's fine. Yeah, let's leave. Let's, let's see if Alva's about now. Oh, what a glorious day. Look at this. What a day to wake up to. The gods are smiling on me. So, right, let's go to Alva, buy some leather, see if we can make that vial holder. Hopefully, it doesn't take up any of our box pouches. If not, we can just sell it. It'll be fine. First things first, I want to sell to you some things I don't need, including this bow. This. Uh, actually, yeah, let's, let's just sell these for coin, because I was going to melt them down but we have plenty of iron anyway we don't really need that let's buy a humble let's just buy 10 shall we because we could always use more come come later until next time right, let's make that vile uh holder shall we you know the vile belt for 50 more points fantastic hopefully we can wear this and up and our current box pouches let's see oh oh it takes the place of um it takes the place of a uh, bandola i'm afraid oh that's a shame Oh, well. I think we've maxed out what we can carry anyway. That's a shame. Well, we can always uh, we can always sell that anyway. That vial pouch. I don't think we can make anything else. You know, I think it will just replace something else that we already have on us. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'll have something else to sell to you. I could forge you. Hmm. Let's see how much it's worth, Blades, actually. Helmets, Is it much worth anything? anything? To suit your needs. Oh, I, I can't even sell it to him. Oh, that's a shame. I'll keep it on me then. That's fair enough. Right, let's All right. see what we can sell to the Riverwood Trader as well, shall we? My friend, I'll be departing this town soon. I wish River, one more trade with you. Sister. Right, my friend, I have many amethysts and things to sell to you. That's a nice little bit of coinage right there. Uh, let's sell the vial. Oh, that's worth 70. We'll sell that. Oh, which one shall we sell? Should we get the Ring of Minor Blocking? Well, actually, let's, let's keep those both. We'll wear both of those, actually. I'll sell you a pair of gloves as well. I'll keep the mantles for now. I don't think we need to sell anything else. Oh, and the Staff of Fury. Oh... Let's sell 
He hasn't got quite enough, but we'll sell it anyway. Just to, yeah, we, we're going to have a, a loss, but it's only a little bit of loss. Only a few septums. Get it finally out of our entry. Brilliant. I better get Let's get out of here. Let me quickly equip that uh, necklace of resist fire and the ring of minor blocking. Let's look at us now. There we are. Look at us now. Very cool. Right, um, that pickaxe. I need to get a new pickaxe as well because I just gave mine a friend my my pickaxe. And they're not going to be taking that off his grave, so uh, I need a new one just to, you know, dig up some corundum before we go. Guy. But for a pickaxe, we need firewood. That's all we need. That's fine. Awesome. A couple bits of firewood. Make ourselves a new pickaxe. Do some corundum mining and then jewel crafting, and then we'll head out, head west, till we find somewhere, <laughs> somewhere far from here. Maybe start making our way towards uh, Winstead Mine. All right, I'll get four pieces. I can't quite remember. I think it was two, but I'll get four just in case. We may need to build a campfire at some point anyway. Uh, if we start heading west. All right, let's see. Actually, have we got a... F a um, yes, we have got a tent. That's fine. Just want to make sure we have a tent when we head out into the wilderness. We have somewhere to sleep. <laughs> That'd be nice. All right, then. Let us make that pickaxe, then. So we can actually do some mining. Whatever you need. All right, pickaxe. There we are. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. Let's go get some corundum. So how much carry we got? We've got... Oh, we've still got plenty. We're nearing 500 carry weight, but because of all those pouches we've made now, we're nearing 800 carry weight. That's so good. I'll upgrade my health when I level up as well. Um, actually, let's level up now. Why not? I'll do my health so I get more carry weight. I'll do a bit of stamina as well. There we are. Level 9. Look at that. Let's do some good old... Where is... There's smithing. This is what we want right here. Uh, actually, do you know what? You may choose to upgrade one grindstone or workbench to an advanced version for 2,500 gold. Arcane Blacksmith. Improve enchanted weapons and armor. Dwarven Auto Cannon. You can create Dwemer Auto Cannons at Forge or Anvil. Use Dwarven Auto Cannon power to deploy them. Um, that's pretty awesome. I'm doing that. Easy peasy right there. Let's level that up, shall we? Uh, let's do that as well. Remote control on those auto cannons. Let's do, let's, let's do that, man. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Let's do the Merrick. Actually, let's not do the Merrick Smithing. Let's do the next one up. Expert Smithing. Let's do Hard Steel. Right, and then I want to put a point into something else as well. Maybe Archery. Just to uh, have a bit more combat effectiveness. Let's just do the first level there. Nice, okay, we can actually make dwarven little dudes now, that fire stuff. I can't wait to see how that works. Very cool. Alright, I believe we struck a nice lump of corundum round near here somewhere. I believe it was just down the slope there, near, nearer towards Whiterun. But uh, we got plenty there, and I just want to get a bit more on us, just so we have corundum when it's needed. Uh, whether to create gems, or I think rubies uses corundum charcoal, so we've got some imperial soldiers there. I think this was not it. It's down this way. Plenty of iron around these parts anyway. Like, this is an iron-rich bit of land. Like, I, I probably was going to stay in Riverwood if it wasn't for Minor Friend's death, but his death has basically convinced me to move on. But uh, Embershard, I hope Embershard grows more and more in our absence. I, I wish those two miners uh, the best of luck in in uh, their endeavours at Embershard, but for me, I, I just have to move on now. Where was that corundum vein? It was around here somewhere. Oh, I think it was over this way. Was it here? Oh, I think this is it here. Yes, this has got to be it. There, there's the corundum. Right, let's begin getting some corundum, shall we? There we are. Already, this technique is so much faster than the animation. I love it. Right, I need to balance the amount of corundum ore with my current carry weight. So I'm just going to be careful here. Let me do another little mine and I'll check how much I've got. Do you know what? I think that's enough. I think that'll be more than... Yeah, 50 cent, that's enough. We've got 601 out of 760. So we've still got plenty of carry left. Just, but managed to get a nice lump of corundum. Nice. I'm going to turn some of that ore, that iron ore, into gems anyway. So hopefully that'll redistribute the carry weight a bit more to our favour. Because I think... Let's see. Iron ingot... Or iron ore is, is weight 2... And I'm not sure what weight a garnet is, but I think it's less than two. So hopefully when we turn some iron into garnets, we get a few more points of carry weight. Yeah, my friends, I think it might be a while before I get a new companion in this series. Because it just happened too fast. I didn't have time to save Minor Friend. 
Like, he's not, you know, he's a miner, not a warrior, so he's already not, like, the strongest guy. So, like, being teamed up on by three bandits, he was going to lose that fight. It just all happened so quickly. It's the nature of the mods I'm running. It, it makes it more immersive, but you it makes the game a bit harder as well when you lose things like you know, companions. Because I'm running, you know, um, kind of organized bandits. So the organized bandit mods is what causes raids to happen because, of course, they're organized now. They're not just sticking in one area. So they actually do kind of bandit raids and stuff. And as well as kind of realistic uh, deaths like... Um, you know, I've made it so basically everyone can be killed in my series, making it a bit more realistic and harsher, a bit more immersive. So these are the trade-offs. <laughs> you, you lose friends and companions for immersion's sake. It is a, a real shame. Right, let us... What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, that's it. J jewel crafting. A bit of light jewel crafting. Let us go over here. And, uh... Oh, yeah, also, Minor Friend wasn't the only guy that died. Don't forget, Fendil's cousin died as well last episode. That was also a shame. Right, we can make a bunch of garnets then. Let's do that. It requires three iron ore per garnet. So let's not make too many. Uh, we'll do until we have 70 uh, iron ore left. Uh, 69. <laughs> that works for me. Brilliant. Can I actually sell garnets to this guy directly? Hey. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But we've now got garnets that we can sell for coinage. I'm sure we need some liquid cash quickly, but we've already got 1,600 coins, so that's dece. We're not, we're not exactly penniless, which is nice. We're still, not, we're still far from being rich, though. But that door, that will come once we strike a gold mine or an ebony mine or something. We'll become rich men indeed. Right, before I leave town, I do want to make sure that I, there's nothing else I can sell. That I don't need. Do you know what? I think all this stuff is worth keeping a hold of. Right then, let us... Have we still got that, actually that dragon's tongue that we can lay on his grave yes we have got two of them so we'll lay down one of those dragon's tongue and we'll keep one as well for remembrance sake so we'll visit the grave before heading west actually i think maybe we should plot out where we do want to go and head west so we'll go visit the grave there and then we'll just go this way so towards markarth perhaps there's plenty of mines around markarth ah oh, yes because we should go to markarth and then i believe winstead mine is like around here somewhere so we can do loads of mining around these parts. Any mine we see between between here and Markarth and up to Markarth. And then once we get enough coin, we head to, towards the Morphal area, get a mine there. Oh, there's Windside Mine. It's actually on the map for us. So Windside Mine is here. I was putting it there, but it's just a bit north of there. So it's actually quite close to Dawnstar. We'll be heading back that way. Uh, so is it actually oh, it's close to Dawnstar? We could have gone directly to there, but we, we probably weren't ready at the time. So <laughs> we're going the long way around, but let's put, put a marker there. And uh, we'll make our way west towards Markarth. And any mine in between, we'll take treasures from, I'm sure. Any bandits we see as well will be killed on sight. This character is now going to kill every bandit he sees within reason. If he can take them on, he's going to kill them, basically. Um, no matter what happens, you know, on the road, we're going to kill them, basically. Here's the depleted uh, uh, vein that we mined. Uh, I believe it was over here that we buried here. Oh, there's his, there's his headstone there. Right, we'll lay down the dragon's tongue, and then we'll leave him in peace, my good friend. Right, let's drop the dragon's tongue. Um, oh, that, that got rid of the pickaxe. No, what, why did that? Oh, it just fell through. That was weird. Well, no, we want that to, the pickaxe to lay there still. Right, there we are. Leave that there. Now, where's the dragon's tongue? Where did that dragon's tongue go? I want to lay the, lay the flower down for him. I think it glitched through the earth, you know. What a shame. Well, we laid it down anyway. I still want to keep the other one that I've got, so I'm not going to lay down both of them if it's only going to glitch the ground anyway. But, uh, yeah, we essentially, we laid it down. I might fix it after recording. <laughs> nice. But that's, that's, actually, that's actually a pretty good uh, pickaxe placement there against the against the grave. Anyone who finds this grave out here is going to know that it belongs to a miner. Well, then, let's depart these lands and head west. There, everything we own on our back, tent in hand, pickaxe by our side... Many ores and gems in our pockets. Ah, <sighs> we head to greener pastures. Hopefully, the West holds promise for us. That's all I know. They say the mines run deep with gold and precious metals there, unlike this area where it's kind of mainly iron and corundum. We shall see. We shall see. I'm going to keep my crossbow actually handy, so I don't know what kind of foemen I'm going to run into in these parts. Oh, actually, we haven't got a stone power yet. Shall we get one of these standing stones? Let's do um. Let's do warrior, shall we? No, let's do thief, actually, for our, for our sneak. There we are. 
Okay, what does Warrior do? Combat skills? Nah, nah. Right, there we are, look at that. Boom. Epic. Very cool. Right, westward we go, my friends. Hello, Hunter. Is that Hunter from uh, a few episodes ago? Let us try and jump across the waters, shall we? Um, actually, you know what? A, a small dip. It's not a cold day, so a small dip should be refreshing, actually. So let's go underwater there. Actually, I believe there is a uh, bit of fire on this little island here that we can warm up on quickly. Although, we have to go into the water anyway to get back, so maybe it's not even worth it. <laughs> I just want to make sure I definitely don't get cold. You know what? This area around these parts are actually quite nice. When the weather's better, it's, um, it's a good place to set up camp, actually. Plenty of game to hunt, plenty of fish. All sorts. I'm going to stick to the wilderness as best as I can because I don't know what nasties exist around these parts. Oh, we're still dripping with water. Nice. Oh, it's a skeever already. Don't give me rock shots, please. Get freaking shot. <laughs> Sorry, I get, I've got realistic knees and diseases on. Creatures in the wild give you uh, nasty, nasty diseases. Oh, I can't even get my crossbow bolt back. What a shame. Oh, there's another skeever there in the trees. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> oh, I should probably get some more bolts, actually, at some point. Make some new ones. I believe this Brittle Shin. Oh, that's Brittle Shin. Okay, there's necromancers in there. We do not want to visit Brittle Shin. Actually, to save my crossbow, I might go Huntsman Bow Mode and Steel Arrows. Just because I want to save my crossbow bolts for ye old um, bandits. You know, because they're harder hitting. But oh, there's more Crundum here. That's nice to know. Near, near Brittle Shin Pass, that is... Corundum. Very good. Let's jump around the waters here so we don't get too wet. Very nice. Right. Oh, there's some kind of watchtower here. I hope it's not bandit controlled. There's another standing stone there. Should we go see what that standing stone is? Oh, there's a mill across there as well, actually. We could go there. Maybe do a bit of work or something. Right. Let's, uh, let's stay clear of this place. I don't know what nasty's lying there. But I think... Oh, look at that. A majestic stag. Hello there, good friend. Keeper of the forest. Right, let us do a quick dip in the water. We're going to go swimming across. We're already wet, so it doesn't matter. Just hope there's no slaughterfish around. Oh, these, wa these waters are murky. It's a bit creepy, actually. Let's just surface, shall we? <laughs> what stone? Oh, there's something around there. What is that? Is that just slaughterfish? I think it's just slaughterfish. <laughs> too bad, you're late. You're too late. What is this? The Lady Stone. Oh, let's see what she offers us. Oh, health and stamina generate more quickly. Yes, please. I'll take that over the Thief Stone. Yes, please. Right, there is, looks like there is a woodmill over this way, actually. And oh, look, another iron ore vein. <laughs> Playing life as a miner, you really start noticing how many uh, veins of metal there are out in the wilds. I never really, like, mined them normally. That's actually a good thing about playing these RP characters, is it makes you kind of um, you actually utilize some of the mechanics of the game that you normally wouldn't use, which is pretty awesome. Right, so here we are. Who's who's here? Um, oh, look. Oh, there's a hunter's cabin here. Or like some kind of butcher's shed. Oh, why is everything glitching out like that? Falling through stuff. Oh, well, there's plenty of meat here. Venison. They've been hunting some stags. Oh, wait. Is this the vampire? Oh, yeah. Half moon meal. These are the vampires, aren't they? Here for work. Hello there. Get an axe and bring <laughs> me all the wood you can chop. You were, you were so obviously a vampire, my word. It's like so obvious. I think we won't stick around here for too long, as I don't really want to stick around vampires. But who's this? Is this a courier? Hello there. I've been looking for you. Oh no, it's That's the. I'm is to it deliver. the miner? Your Don't tell me. Only. Oh, go on. Oh, that's from the yard. Moving up in the world, eh? Oh my, it's just. Like that's it. Got to go. Is this because me opening up Embershed Mine this has word reached the yard of my exploits? I thought it was for Miner Friend for a second, then an inheritance letter. But then I remembered last episode actually, we already got the inheritance letter for Miner Friend, so it wasn't for that. All right then. Well, the Jarl wants to speak to us. Let's uh, let's read it actually. Why not? Let's see what he has to say. Sidgir of Falkreath. Ah, oh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sidgir, and I have the honour to be the Jarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a thane of Falkreath, hold. I invite you to speak to me the next time you're in Falkreath. Oh my word. Okay, he wants to make me thane. I guess he's impressed with my clearing of Embershard Mun and bringing trade back to um, to Riverwood. I mean, uh, Embershard Mine is in Falkreef Hold, so I'm sure Falkreef will profit from the reopening of the mine as they're going to have mineral rights uh, as it lies in their borders. So I'm sure the Yarl has just got 
news that uh, his coin pouch is about to get a lot fatter thanks to me. He wants to give me a little bit of a reward. Maybe, maybe should I pass that way and I'll uh, see about that. But, oh my, there's a bunch of Thalmor on the road. My word. So yeah, maybe uh, maybe a trip to Falkreath at some point. I think it's the other way though, isn't it? Falkreath, yeah, it's down this way. There's not a lot of mines around Falkreath, you know, so it's not really worth it to us. But uh, should we ever find ourselves back this way, we can always become Thane, why not? Let's ignore these Thalmor, shall we? Right then, let us... Oh, what's this way, actually? Should we go this way, or should we go this way? Uh, let us... Well, there's a cave here. If this is a mine, we should check it out. If not, we'll go back to the road. What is this place? Is this a mine? Oh my... Oh my indeed. Is this a friendly bear? Hello? Are you a friendly bear? Hello? He's not attacking me. My word, he seems like a friend. My word indeed. Look at you, friend. Hello there. Balder. My word. Do you kill this guy, my, my friend? My word. Who is he? I won't, I won't take from his scratch. I'll take the steel arrows, but... Okay. This bear seems to be a guardian of this area. He's he's obviously killed this fella here. But uh, no idea what's going on there. I'm going to stay away from this bear. He's a big guy. Look at him. Uh, we'll leave the bear to his business. But I've never actually found a bear that didn't straight up attack me before. I'll give him one last look because it's actually an interesting thing. Maybe this is a spirit or something. Very cool. Well, let's head back to the road then, shall we? Oh, mine word. Right, here we are. Oh, these guys are held up here. What's going on? Oh, the revelers! It's the good old revelers. I like these guys. I do, I'm in need of a drink after minor friend loss, you know. Oh, how minor friend would have loved these guys. Oh, it's not a fine day for me, friend, I'm afraid. I am indeed. Share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. I will, friend, I will. Thank you. I will indeed. What's Reveler doing? What are you doing, friend? Why are you approaching these guys? Please, friend, do not do this. What's your friend doing? Hello? Yeah. Okay, move, move along then. Time. Oh, these, I love these guys. These guys are the, are the best trio in all of Skyrim. If only Minor Friend was here to... To, to revel with them. He How he would have enjoyed that, indeed. But this guy here... Watch it. Oh, who are these you, friend? Are a surly bunch. Okay. Jalen Oakenhollow. Wow, you're an interesting fellow. Are you a prisoner of these guys? Watch it. Oh, I'm afraid... Uh, I wish I could free you, friend. You look like an interesting fellow, but <laughs> these these three are far too powerful for me, I'm afraid. So uh, I must leave them. And you be. But there is a tent here. That's an owned bedroll. Falkreath Hold Northern Gates. Okay, pretty cool. Hello there, Falkreath Guard. Let's have a little look in the horizon, shall we? All seems to be okay over here. But yeah, we'll definitely steer clear of these foemans for now, although I hope to run into these guys again, or this guy at least. He's an interesting fella. He looks like a wood elf. I know they're not necessarily fond of the Thalmor, as the, uh, I believe the Wood Elves were kind of absorbed into the Aldmeri Dominion without their consent, necessarily. So, uh, we'll ignore them for now. Continue on our way. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, there's a Saber Cat there. Let's be very careful here. Markarth is indeed that way, so let's keep the road. You don't want to run into the ire of that Saber Tooth. No. Oh, leave me alone. Do not stalk me, cat. The Thalmor are going to have a rude awakening when they <laughs> run into that guy. Too bad I'm not gonna be around to see it. Oh, there's more Thalmor here. Yet more Thalmor. My word. If you see any signs this is the prisoner. of worship, it's your Whoa. obligation to report them to me. I can assure you, my friend, it is not my obligation. My obligation is to work hard, honor my friends, and mine metal. There's a lot of Thalmor prisoner transports around these parts. I guess Whiterun is a imperial town, and they have a loose allegiance with the Imperials. So, right then, to Falkreef we go. Oh, sorry, to uh, mark off we go. Oh, here it is, the Reach. We are now entering the Reach. Boom. <laughs> we are in the Reach. Time to get attacked by four sworn. And look, there's a dead horse here already, my word. Let's take their skin. That's going to offer us a lot of leather, actually. Can't, you know, can't let this go to waste. Horse hide. That's going to give us a lot of leather. Uh, don't take the meat. We'll leave that to animals and other opportunists. And oh my, already one step. One step into the Reach and we find already dead, dead traveller. My word. Oh, there's a trap here. Well, let's be on the lookout then. There's enemies up ahead, I'm guessing. I believe this is actually Forsworn controlled, so we should be very, very careful indeed. As Forsworn tend to uh, control this area. 
we'll just try and sneak around this fort. But already there's someone up ahead of us. Who goes there? Oh, it's a skelly. It's a skelly, is it? Come on then, face me. I'll crush you, crumble you to the ground with one shot. Boom, there we are. <laughs> oh, I love the skelly getting crumbled like that. It's so fun. Actually, I'm going to take that sword because I want to see what that melts down into. It might just melt down into steel, but I'm interested to see what it does melt down into. All right, this is definitely Forsworn controlled. Oh my, there's a dead person. Vigilant, a dead vigilant, my word. He was hunting skellies, was he? Oh, my friend, I'm going to take your potions as I'm sure you would be fine with a citizen of the world taking uh, what he can from you. But uh, I guess he was killed by... Oh, he's got a silver ingot. <gasps> we'll take that. Yes, please. Oh, oh, that scared me. You are such an elk. My word, that was scary. Actually, there's no one here. I think we can just travel these parts safely. Very good. Oh, look, we've got some kind of uh, post here. Guard post, maybe? What is this? Oh, there's dead force ward. Oh, my. Oh, my. Sun guard pass. Something has killed a bunch of force wards. I'll take their arrows. My word. What has, what has killed these guys? Oh, who's that? Oh, that's just a traveling, wandering uh, magician, probably. My word. These force wards, what were they killed by? Well, thank you for your gift of arrows. Oh, campfire there. Be careful, wandering magician. Be careful out there on the road. Oh my! Yeah, everyone's been wiped out. Like, what on earth did this? Oh, reach hold guards. I guess the reach hold did this. Uh, the guards. Well, they did, they did a fine job at felling these uh, force wands. I'll melt down one of the force wand swords as well and see what that does. Amethyst, arrows are plenty. Very nice. My, a grand battle's here indeed. Look at this. An imperial sword. Like a good old gladius. Look at that. Boom. Steel arrows. Yes, please. Gonna leave them in their dignity. More steel arrows. Can never say no to steel arrows. Oh, my guy is once again getting hungry. How do I ever sate my guy's appetite? He's hungry all the time. Let's eat. Got eat a hawker loaf. That's filling. There we are. We're full. There we are. Drink some water. Get that down, you. Yeah. No longer thirsty. Right. Let's get out of here. Oh, the fogs are rolling in. Oh, there's a wolf up ahead. I just saw him creeping around. I think he's stalking his prey. Let's see if we can get a shot off on him. Or take his skin, take his pelt. Oh, the fogs have rolled in very hard. Oh, I hear the wolf. Look at this. Although we're approaching Markarth. Oh, there's the wolf. Look at him. I'll stalk you, wolf. Boom. There we are. Felled. Nicely. Let's take his pelt, shall we? Do a manual lootage first. Grab the pelt, and then we'll do some field dressing. Oh, sheath my weapon. Okay. All right, then let's do skin pelt. Oh, yeah, wolf pelt. Very nice. Good quality for once. We're getting better at this. Let's fell this guy quickly before he attacks us. Oh, there's another wolf up there. My word. Boom. Get slain, guy. Boom, right there. It's, oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's seen me. He's seen me. That's it. That's it, you stay, oh, that's it, come for me, come for me, come for me, come for me, boom. <laughs> nice, nicely done. Take all the skins we can get. Can never have too much leather, in my opinion. We'll go skin his friend. Oh, there we are, we're, we're bring, improving once more. Although well, it's a ruined pelt. It's like, you're improving, but you get a ruined pelt, nice. Right, there we are, nicely done. Oh, what's this? Oh, a nice bit of iron, okay. We've got plenty of iron on us. Oh, more pilgrims. Hello there. Wait, these are the same pilgrims that were passing through Riverwood. Hello, friends. Hello. Nice to see you. Night of the Faith. Yes. Right. So the road goes ever on and on, and we see a nobleman on his horse on his way to the wedding, I, I presume. All the way in solitude, huh? Oh, <laughs> Band Ice Wizard. Hello there, good friend. <laughs> Band Ice Wizard. <laughs> uh, his life as a farmer, he would be joining us, I'm sure. <laughs> we're, slightly thir we're slightly thirsty already. Why are we getting so thirsty, man? More wolves on the road as well. Slain with ease. Oh, there goes the other wolf up ahead. Let's see if we can get him from here, shall we? Boom. Nice, look at that. Well placed shot indeed. Our archery is getting very good. More skins for us. We're going to have plenty of leather now with all these wolf pelts. I'm not going to be wanting for leather for a while. Oh, a couple mud guys here. Little mud foomans. I'll leave them be. They're not hurting anyone. But nine wolf pelts, my word. The leather gods will be happy. But I think, actually, we are fast approaching good old uh, Markarth. And there's a shrine here. Allow us to pray for our dear friend. To Tabella, I guess. <laughs> It'll do for now. But uh, a lot of offerings are left to Tabella. She's she's much liked, isn't she? Amongst the Pantheon. And who's this fella here? Oh, a hunter. I've been hunting and fishing in these oh, parts wolf pelts. Years. 
I have some wolf pelts for sale. How much would he give me for a wolf pelt, I wonder? I think the wolf pelts are uh, more valuable to me, actually. I've got some salmons. <laughs> some salmons for sale. Thank you. Here, this is for you. How much is that? Four... Oh, f ten, ten, ten gold apiece. Nice. Actually, let me drop my wolf pelts and Until see how much he's going to give me per wolf pelt. I'll drop eight wolf pelts. Because uh, I want to see how much one wolf pelt is to this guy. So we'll drop eight like that. And then we'll sell one to this guy. Got some wolf pelts Thank to sell. You. Here, this is for you. Let's see. Wolf pelt removed. 30 coinage! See you. That is nice. I'm going to keep the other eight. I'm going to keep the other eight. If I run into a hunter, though, I know that I can sell pelts to them. Very good indeed. Right. That's awesome. 30, 30 apiece for wolf pelts. Oh, there's a chest there. I just saw a chest while I was hopping along. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for that. It's a dangerous... Uh, it's in a dangerous place, but I'm going to go for it. Because why not? <laughs> why not? Right, let us do a little bit of this. Huh. Oh, that wasn't a jump. Oh, I hate when that happens in Skyrim. You try and do a running jump, and then it just stops you from jumping. Oh, it's locked Apprentice. That should be no problem. There's a mud guy over there. We'll ignore him. Right, let's go open this chest. Ooh, yes, please. Yes, please. A nice bit of iron ingot. I'll take it. Feeling a bit peckish already. I've ate a hawk a loaf. What more can my minor belly want? I guess I'm traveling on foot quite far. Realistically, I've probably traveled many, many miles, so it would make sense that you get more and more hungry. Uh, this this fog is thick, man. Oh, there's a guy up ahead. Oh, there's a guy attacking us. Who's that? A Breton. A random Breton just attacking us. Uh, what, did we, what did we do to you, Breton? We've wronged you in no such way. I will fill you with arrows. There we are. <laughs> Trying to heal on me. What are you playing at, Breton? I, I wronged you in no way. But now I will take your floor. Oh, that's worth a lot. Yes, please. Take your steel war axe. I will leave you in your dignity. But look at that. Random Breton hostile for, for no reason. I believe this area is quite sketchy for bandits and forsworn. So we're going to be very careful. As hostiles are around every corner. There is a cave up there. If that's a mine, I'll check it out. If not... Actually, I believe mines have specific symbols anyway. Not just these cave symbols. But, oh, silver ore! Yes, we are taking that. Lovely. Oh, yes. Oh, maybe we do go in here. Maybe we do go in there. It's It might be a silver mine. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm feasting today, my friends. I'm feasting. Let's get my pickaxe out. Where's my pickaxe? There it is. We're feasting on the silver today, my friends. Yes, let's go. That silver ore my smithing increasing oh this is a buffet for us we're just loading on, on silver look at this we've got a rough sapphire in that as well look at that all right i think we'll take a couple more bits for now and then i want to head inside and see what's there because there might be even more silver within it's worthwhile marking on our map how much silver we got oh our carry weight's getting very full as well actually uh, we've got 60 that's plenty for now we need to go sell some of this stuff all right let's go see what's inside i'm gonna get my crossbow out for this one i think Maybe enemies within. Let's go investigate. What a vast area. Indeed. Very nice. Maybe plenty of silver down here, I hope. And... Oh! Oh, yes, my friends. All right, we need to clear up some carry space so we can pick up some of that stuff. Yes, please. Oh, my. Oh, my, indeed, adventurer. He has fallen. An emerald dragon claw. Okay, let's, uh, let's be careful here. Alright, maybe going to Markov first might be the wisest idea. Dropping off some stuff and then coming back. But we'll do a little bit of light investigation. But Lost Legends, let's read that. My word, forbid the Forbidden Legend started. My word. Investi oh, Investigate Goldar Legend. I'll have to maybe do that, but let's take this claw, shall we? Ancient Edict. What's this about? Let this place be forgotten forever. Let it be struck from the rolls of history. Let it never be spoken of by man or myrrh. Let its very name be lost to the ages. Ye who enter here know, this place was sealed at great price. Honour those who perished here. Turn back and leave them to rest. Perhaps I should listen to this. But part of me wants to go further beyond. Wanting to leave souls to rest strikes true with me as we have just laid minor friend to rest and I know the want and desire for those we care about to be undisturbed, but 
there's a glimmer inside my minor character. A glimmer inside of me that wants to investigate possible treasures within. But perhaps we should do some light investigation inside, come back later, because my carry weight right now is approaching full. So let's just see. We've got uh, we've got bear whale snake. Okay. Let's just quickly do this. Right, here we are. Right. Boom. Let's do it. It's too late now. Too late to go back now. Here goes nothing. Stand back for this one. Oh my word. This is loud indeed. Oh my. How many chambers? Look at this. Okay. I... I'm a bit cautious here. Do you know what? I might need to hire people to come in here with me. Do you know what? We go to Markarth. This, this second door has given me enough warning that we will come back here for certain, but we need to hire... Listen, we have silver. We have silver we can trade for men. We, let's do this. We'll hire mercenaries. We'll give them silver. And they will, we will get an expedition party with us to investigate that place, I think. Good idea. Oh, I am drenched from this waterfall. All right, let's, let's definitely get out to Markarth now. But at least we know there's plenty of silver here. Uh, and we can we can get a, an expedition party going. Investigate that place, because I am I'm interested in that place now, for sure. Now, who's this fella? Maybe he's our first guy that can help us. Hello there. Who are you, good sir? Orc. What's a milk drinker like you doing um, out here? Go home to your mother. Oh, uh, hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, friend. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Listen, I've just lost Why? a I've just lost a close friend. Okay, back off I now. Have to take that from you. Oh yeah, face me then. That's it. Come on, I've got a crossbow in hand. Face me. That's it. Get shot right in the neck. No matter how strong you are, my crossbow is stronger. Do you know how, do you know how many pounds of force is behind this this crossbow? More than you could ever know. More than you can swing, just like that. And I've slain you, huh? Boom! Right there. Look at that. <laughs> in the back of the head. Brutal shot. What have you got on you? Oh, he's got gold. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. More corundum. Won't say no to that. Take my steel bolts back. And let's leave his body to rot here on the road. Shouldn't have faced me. Made a mistake. Oh, and there is a mine actually up ahead. And it's on the way to Markarth. And there's another standing stone down that way. Oh, there's a mine there and a mine there. Okay, heading west was a good idea, my friends. Heading west has opened up opportunity for us. Grand opportunity. We've already found silver. There's also a bunch of mines here. So let us... Investigate this one first, shall we? Oh, there's some kind of encampment here. Maybe a miners' camp. I would hope it is. I'd love to see some fellow miners, like a, at least a large number of them for once. I've only ever met a few of them at a time, but I'm hoping that these are fellow miners. Oh, what's going on? Oh, they're attacking something, or well, something's attacking them. What's going on here? Oh, these are Khajiits. These are Khajiit merchants. Who was that? Oh, a band explorer, classic band explorer, of course. My word, they never know when to give up, do they? This one needs something. Right. Uh, actually, I do need something, friend. I, w I wish to trade with you. Let's uh, let's trade. I have gems to sell, friend. I'll sell to you my amethyst. I'll sell to you my garnets. I'll sell to you that gold as well. Why not? I'll sell to you also a bunch of iron. Uh, let's sell the rough ruby. Let's sell the rough sapphire. And you've only got three coin left, so let's leave you in peace, shall we? Very good. Very good. Getting a lot of coin already. Look at this. Hello there. Be on your best behavior. I will. Listen. Are few, but but listen. Will I'm aware. Strong. I will be on my best behavior. You are good people. You are good people. Any tips on fighting? Leaving the sword foot forward leaves one vulnerable to stab. Okay. The shield foot sacrifices range. Khajiit prefers to fight shield first. Okay. Interesting. N nice free tip right there. Uh, very good. Any other merchants oh, I can sell to you? Something. Can I sell to you, friend? I no, I can't. Right. The well, they they slayed the uh, the band explorer anyway, which is nice. The pilgrim, good old classic pilgrim on the road. I believe we are now approaching Markarth actually, and here's the mine to Markarth where we should set up camp. Very good. So some fellow miners indeed. Hello. What oh, what's you? going on here? The Forsworn have taken Kolskager mine. Oh my. The only ones left. Oh my! You two head inside and get some rest. I'll send word to the Jarl. My, what, can I be of help here? I'm good Thank at clearing out mines. We survived that. Uh, Those Forsworn were fierce fighters. Kolskega mine. Than I could have imagined. Forsworn are in there right now, are they? 
Right, tell me what happened. Is lost, friend. It's not. Sworn killed everyone. Oh no. Don't worry, friend. I've cleared out Ember Shard. I can do it again. You're from Colskeg and mine? Forsworn came in the night, killed everyone. I see. And I are the only ones who escaped. Hopefully Skaggy will send word to the Jarl and something will be done. Perhaps, my friend. What if I took care of the Forsworn? I'd be grateful. Colskeg is my home. Maybe I would wish to make it mine as well, friend. There's a whole group of them with axes and magic on their side. You'd never stand a chance. Dude, all I need is a pack of bolts, my crossbow, and I'm there, man. Uh, is this your mind? Skaggy is in charge, not me. Okay. Well, my friend, I'll see what I can do. Until next time. Uh, I've cleared out Ember Shard before, and I'm sure yeah, this will be a bit tougher, but I can still do it. Wait, what have we got here then? Where's Skeggy gone? Is this false Skegger? Oh, this is this is left hand mine, so this is a different mine. They say if a vampire. So is, Col is false Skegger down that way a bit? Yeah, no, it is. False Skegger is down that way. So this mine, You'll this mine is one. still safe. Right, let's go. Let's go investigate this mine first. All right, let's see who we can find it's in here. How much work goes into Willem. It. I'm just here to dig. Not Very much good. Else to talk about. Listen, I know that life well, friend. I know that life well, friend. Don't worry. This is oh, this is a classic iron mine again. Classic stuff. Right, is there anyone in here that I can actually sell to in terms of in terms of raw metal? So I've got a bunch of iron that I don't need anymore. I'm one of right, the, who are you, friend? I don't have much to say to you. Got okay. Work. That's it. I understand, mm -hmm. friend. I understand. Right, a bunch of people did go in here a second ago, though. What's in this knapsack? Oh, potion of minor healing. I'll take that. Right then. Um. Oh, imp store. All right, let's go find the foreman down here. I believe I saw him go in here. So I'm sure he will offer us some some coinage for clearing out uh, Kolskega. Right, who are you, friend? Is I'm this... just here to mine. Okay. Okay. I don't think anyone's. Got ordered. No, the owner isn't here. Okay. Let's go back outside and set up camp. Then we'll sleep until morning, I think. Right then. Let's get out of here, shall we? Back up this way. What's the hurry? Let's go. Yeah, clearing out Kolskega. That sounds like a task for us. That's right up our alley, isn't it? So once I lose some carry weight and make some more bolts, I think I'll definitely hit up uh, a Kolskegger. But where did the foeman go? I think, oh, he must have gone into his house. I think he lives here. Okay, yeah, they, they live out here, I think. Okay, yes, Gaggy's in here. Let's go see if he's in here. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Uh, no, I'm not, what friend. Can I do for you, friend. I'm not planning any trouble at all, I promise. I just wish to speak to you for a bit about the Forsworn taking up Kolskegger. Only a matter of time before they hit here, too. Don't worry, friend. I'm going to wipe them out, I assure you. Anyone who hur hurts us, fellow miners, I will ensure revenge. Be they bandit, be they forsworn, be they skeleton, be they vampire. I have iron to sell I anyway. Buy everything you've dug up. Right, what well, you give me for 69? Oh, it's a one for one. Not really worth actually selling that. I should have done that. But at least I've got more carry weight now. You own this that mine? I do. If you want to grab a pickaxe and dig up some iron. Oh, I will. Free. I'll pay for anything you bring me. Very nice. I think I'll do that for a while once I once I finish uh, clearing out Kolskega. Guessing this is your wife. I'll leave you to me. You have a very humble home here. I wish you the best. Although these cold hard stone and Dwemer designed homes are not really for me. I much prefer the the nice hard wood of of Riverwood. It's more a lot more comforting and nicer to look at. But I think for now. I will set up camp. I'll set up actually my tent next to this smelter so I can actually stay warm without having to use a fire. So let's drop this. Let's pitch tent. If it's gold, it means we're warm. So if I set my tent here, it should be nice and warm. Yeah, so now it's blue. It's no longer warm. But when it's gold, it's warm. I don't want to glitch out some of the workers, though, because they might need to come over here. Right, actually, yeah, I think here will be good. All right, well, this will be our home for now. So let's uh, pitch tent there. That works for us. Uh, that'll work for now. Let's uh, let's sleep for a spell, shall we? Let's lie down. There we are. Sl uh, taking shelter is an integral part of staying warm. Yeah, we know all that stuff. Uh, backpack off. Right, it's about five to eight. Waking up, we are hungry. Oh, waking up to uh, Skeggy. <laughs> Blessing me. Walking through my tent. <laughs> hope, he, uh, hope he doesn't mind me staying up here for a while. We'll eat a nice breakfast. Let's eat rabbit stew. Salmon steak. Let's eat stale slaughterfish. We have no other choice. Oh, venison. We didn't sell that venison. We we're going to sell that actually in um, in Riverwood. Uh, let's have some bread. We are full. Let's drink a bit of water as well. Oh, I'm oh I'm coughing. Oh, I think that stale food did me in. Oh, that stale food did me in a bit. 
we need to get cured for that, I think. My word, that was a bad idea. Yeah, disgusting. Okay. For two minutes, though, for the stale seared slaughterfish. We'll be able to go back we'll only be sick for so long. Right. We will. I'm going to I'm gonna help him, friend. I, I will help him, don't worry. I think I should do that straight away, then, actually. I was going to wait until um I, I visited the Yarl and stuff and went into town. But I think I'll get rid of those Forsworn ASAP and get all the mines back, back on full swing. So let's do it. Yeah, if I clear out the mine... That should give me some renown, and I'll hire a bunch of dudes to do that expedition with next episode, I think. Very good, that works for me. Um, actually, no. I'll place my marker there, but I need to make more bolts first. I'm not ready. I, I have a measly. How many do I have? 28. I fear that won't be enough. I'm going to forge. I have steel. I have firewood. I'm going to forge a bunch more bolts, I think. There's bound to be a forge inside um, inside marker, so let's go. Yeah, 20, 28 will just not be enough to take on... A mine for the Forsworn, I don't think. Oh, my, my rotten food is actually stopping my stamina from regening, and I'm breathing very heavily indeed. I wonder if this wizard would want to come with us. He's a mercenary. If I hire him... Can I hire him, do you think? I'll give him silver. Dude, I will give you as much silver as you can carry if you join me, friend. What do you say, huh? What do you say? Until next time. Come on, friend. As much silver as you can carry in that Need pouch something. of yours. Right, Mercenary Wizard is with us. I will turn some of that silver into bars and I'll give him... I don't know. Let's see how much the bars are worth. Maybe I'll give him five bars of silver or something. That's a lot. That's valuable indeed. But uh, he's, he's a mercenary, so he can be hired, which is good. Let's head inside, shall we? Oh, let's try and slay this Force One guy. Get him. Shoot him in the back. We'll save the woman. Oh, there we are. I die for my people. Yes, you do indeed. Dying is what you do. I saved the woman. Everyone Are you okay? The city guard have this all under control. I'm sure they do. I'm already shot in the back. It would seem that you don't have your stuff in control. If it wasn't for me, she would be dead. I saved you. you that gods, that man nearly killed me. Indeed I did. You saved my life. You're welcome. That man's still out of the Forsworn. Do you know why he was after no. you? I don't have any idea. About the men who live in the hills well, I'm about to go kill a bunch of them in the mine, so... I'm sorry. We'll see. I don't know anymore. Okay, I don't know anymore either. I've just arrived here myself. Oh, right, oh, this guy. Give me the letter, go on. Give me the letter. Yes, I, I, I killed him. Thank oh, you for the note. I'm not going to do this quest. Oh, look, beggar. Hello there, friend. Are you okay? What is this? Is this who I think it is? Oh, maybe. maybe. <laughs> is that the Rat King, my friends? Is that the Rat King himself? Right, let yes. us go to the forge then make a few silver ingots for our good friend. Actually, let's make some steel bolts. We'll go to the smelter. What is this? Make some uh, uh, silver ingots and give them to our mercenary. Steel bolt. Let's make a bunch of them. Make, th make 30 more because that's how much firewood we have. Very good. And then we go and make a bunch of ingots. Wait, where's our mercenary? Is he coming with us? Is he with us, our mercenary friend? I don't think he's with us, you know. What a shame. Did he, did he get scared of the thought of facing Force Wands, did he? I oversee Mark a shame Stone. indeed. I right, get let's see here. Silver ingot. We need five silver ore. So let's make Stop working. five ingots for that mercenary wizard in case he's still out there. The people with but there we are. A bunch of ingots made for payment. How much are those ingots worth, actually? Those silver ingots? Oh, they're 250 apiece. <sighs> Tasty. Hmm. Maybe I'll give him five then. Maybe I'll give him... Actually, how much should I give him, do you think? Should take on four sworn. Maybe five is a fair trade. Mm. If he dies, we can just pick him back up anyway. <laughs> Let's go see if he's still outside. Oh, yeah, here he is running up to us. He's ready. He's got his... He's waiting for his payment, I guess, outside the city walls. So, um... Listen, I've got a fat amount of silver for you. It would make sense that I give him all five, because that's... That's a payment. That's... Just too... Too much to say no to, I think. So he's getting a fat... Uh, over 1,200, basically. 1,250 for, for joining me, which... We'll give him five. No, we made six. We'll give him five. That's a lot of coin right there, friend. Look, I've given you five pure bars of silver. That's not enough, then. I don't know what mercenary is. That's probably the most, the most highest paid mercenary in Sky right now. But uh, I need you to come with me, friend. I need your your magic. Your prowess. So I have, I have mere steel. Well, these, these bolts hit as hard as any spell, I can assure you. Cold Skegger is just down the road here. I wonder if we can get a few of the city guards with us. 
Maybe they all have duties already, though, that they have to attend to. Let's hope our mercenary wizard doesn't skimp out on us. I don't see him. Oh, here he comes. He comes running here. <laughs> Look at him. We've given him a lot of coin on this. He better stick by our side. Oh, I already see four sworn on the bridge from over here. Look at this. Look at him there. I already see him. I'm going to rain down a bolt upon this guy. Right, enter stealth mode here. Look at him there. Who's he fooling, huh? Who's he fooling? That's it. I dare you to get closer. I will fill you with bolts. Boom, there's one. Boom, there's two. You're down. There's one down. Attack from high. We have the high ground. That's it. Yes, you come out as well. That's it. My mercenary wizard will... Oh, look at that. My mercenary wizard is powering up. Look at that. Boom, together. Well done, my friend. Behind you! Behind you, friend! Behind you! Behind you, get him! Oh, I saved your life, mercenary wizard. My word, watch out, friend. Watch out. I just saved his life. Well, that's three force ones already killed. We're doing well. What's inside the shack? Let's go inside. Oh, that's Cole's Oh, that's, that's Pavo's house. Okay. Very good. So the, where's the mine, then? Is it up here? Oh, it's up there, I think. Oh, so that's the guy's house. He came running. So the mine is here, is it? Oh, yes, here's the smelter. Right. I have a bunch of force one weapons that I'm going to melt down quickly because I want to see what they get turned into. Our ancient Nord sword gets turned into Corundum. Very good. I guess force one weapons become nothing then. They're not really worth selling. We have many more things to um to sell for coins. So I'm just going to drop these force one stuff. Actually, we should also equip our Imperial armor as we are going into a battle right now. So it would make sense. Very good. Look at us. <laughs> Ready for battle. Very good. Me and my mercenary wizard friend. And before I step inside, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, my friends. We headed west this episode. We have found Markarth and many mines and many treasures and veins of expensive metals and rare metals indeed. Next episode, I think the wealth will begin filling into our pockets once we clear this mine. But for now, my friends, I'm going to leave this episode here with a new mercenary wizard by our side. Oh, look at him. He's already getting to work. <laughs> what are you doing, friend? You were hired to just help me in combat. But, uh, but yeah, I'll leave this episode here. So, my friends, as always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. And if you do want to see more, consider subscribing. Your viewership is always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.